King Charles's historic decision to give Prince George unprecedented role on his coronation. Several members of the royal family have already experienced huge changes in their lives in roles since the death of the late queen and the accession of King Charles. There will be more to come as we continue to count down to the coronation on May 6th. One of the biggest changes for the Prince and Princess of Wales in particular is an update in their military roles. The Princess of Wales is being handed her own colonelcy from her father-in-law alongside the Queen Consort. Both Camilla and Kate will step up to the plate with new positions, while Prince William will represent another regiment of the Foot Guards. There are five regiments of the Foot Guards who always take part in the annual birthday parade. Family will come first at the upcoming coronation of King Charles III as the five grandchildren from Camilla, Queen Consort's first marriage, will make their debut at the Global Spotlight. Camilla's grandchildren, who are not official members of the royal family, have been deliberately shielded from the spotlight by their parents, Tom Parker Bowles and Laura Lopes. The featured roles for the members of the King and Queen's blended family are part of a ceremony that will reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future, while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry. In another break with tradition, the coronation may also include a prominent role for nine-year-old Prince George, William's son, who follows him next in line for the throne. King Charles III has lined up his son, Prince George, for a precedent-breaking role in his coronation this spring. The royals are reportedly considering giving the prince a prominent official role alongside the queen's grandchildren. The move will see the king and queen draw their families together in a bold statement on the firm's future. Royal historian Hugo Vickers admits, bringing George in also sends the right symbolism for the future and gives him something he will always remember. It's certainly different. This coronation is getting more interesting by the minute. Just one day after September 8, 2022, death of Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles III gave his first speech at the United Kingdom's monarch. In the televised broadcast, the new sovereign announced that his son, Prince William, would be the new Prince of Wales and his daughter-in-law, Kate, would become the Princess of Wales. However, the royal titles only became official this month when the letters patent passed the Great Seal of the Realm on February 13th. From the full notice from the Crown Office was printed in the Gazette on Friday last week. The Princess of Wales has recently caused a stir on Saturday at the Six Nations, stepping out in a coat dress she previously wore when pregnant with Prince Louis. The royal mother also gave a rare insight into her children's hobbies, and Princess Charlotte might surprise you. The mother of three revealed how her eldest, Prince George, is leveling up his rugby skills at school. The nine-year-old is advancing from tag rugby to touch rugby and is learning how to tackle. It comes as a little surprise that William and Kate's children are being encouraged to express their sporty side. The Princess of Wales' athletic prowess is no doubt rubbing off on her children, who are already taking up her skills in skiing, tennis, and sailing. While the princess certainly will be the first female royal to play sports competitively, having come from a long line of keen equestrians and Olympians, she would be quite the royal trailblazer should she wish to pursue a career in rugby or football. The prince and princess of Wales are preparing for a future as king and queen consort, but they apparently much prefer their modest home, Adelaide Cottage, Windsor, to one of the queen's most beloved residences, Windsor Castle. However, it's now been suggested by royal correspondent Camilla Tominay that they could end up leaving this historic property lying empty for the foreseeable future. The Waleses don't want to move into Windsor Castle because they're actually quite happy in Hadley Cottage, which by comparison is modest accommodation, not by comparison to us, but by comparison to royal accommodation.